Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it's time to start mastering the parts of an airplane. We are going to begin in code blocks. So let's get cracking. Of course, to start code blocks, we must click code blocks, create a new code block, and on the next window, choose new design. The first step is always to name it. This is going to be called airliner, and then put your initials after it. We are going to build the fuselage of the airliner, so bring out a new create object and rename it, and let's type fuselage. It's F-U-S-E and then L-A-G-E. We are going to build the fuselage with a sphere. When you bring this sphere out, make sure you pick a color you think is cool, and then pick a radius of 20 and change the steps to 36. We are going to move it up that same amount of radius, so go to modify and bring out a move and change the Z to 20. And then we're going to scale this so it looks like an aircraft. I want you to type 1.25 for the X scale, and I want you to type 4.5 for the Y scale, and we're going to keep a Z of 1. If you hit play, boom, you can see you've got a fuselage of a jet airliner. All right, friends, we want to hollow this out and check out how easy it is. Duplicate your original sphere, change it to a hole, and then change the radius to 19.5, so it's less than the original one. We still want to raise it up to 20 so that it's in the center of this one. Now to prove it's hollow, let's bring out a box that we're going to turn into the windshield for the cockpit area. Remember, the cockpit is the front of the aircraft. We're going to change its measurements to 50 wide, and I'm going to tell you 30 for the length, and I want the height to be 5. Leave the rest of the numbers alone. Once again, make sure it's a hole, and now find your modify and your move, and we need to bring it all the way out to the front. Well, this is 0, 0. So we need to move it negative 80 on the y-axis to bring that out there. Real quickly, I'm going to speed up the play. And when we do this, you'll be able to see the part moved out, but I did not move it up. We're going to choose a number of 25 for how high it goes. Hit play, and you can see that's a decent spot for a cockpit windshield. We're going to build that by hitting create group just like that. Boom. Now you can see that you've got an aircraft with a place to build the rest inside that fuselage. Friends, it is time to add some sweet windows to our fuselage. We're going to do it under the create group, and then we're going to fix that later. We're going to change from 1 to 10 from to 1 to 12. We're going to go to shapes, and we're going to build with a cylinder. I need you to drop your cylinder in, make it a hole, and then change its measurements to 3. And then we're going to do 80, and we're going to make the sides 64. Switch to your modify section, and we want to bring out a rotate. We're going to rotate around axis Y, and we're going to rotate 90 degrees. I'm going to leave the pivot blank, and we're going to bring out a move. For the move, we're going to do some awesome math. Move to the math area and bring out two of these blocks. The first one is going to be the number we move forward. So we're going to put a negative 60 out here, and we're going to leave the plus. The second one is going to have the awesome math that allows it to move. Bring out the i variable, make it multiplication, and then we're going to move them back 10 more each time. So it's going to be i times 10. This is going to be what gets added to that original negative 60. When you grab this, always grab near the math, and it goes in the Y. Now, sometimes I see students try and stick it in with this edge. It does not work. Make sure you grab near the math, and you put the left edge in Y. So it'll be 0, and then your fancy math with the I times 10 at the end. And then we are going to use 25 for our Z. Now notice this is after the create group. I'm doing that for a reason, because I want you to see just how amazing that is. I am going to change this to negative 65. 
That just shows you how easy they are to adjust after you build them. Make sure you have your numbers just like mine. Pull the create group down below and now reconnect it and let's hit play and see our fuselage with all the windows put in. How sweet is that? Friends, it is time to add a horizontal stabilizer and we're gonna do that with a sphere again. When you bring out your sphere, pick a funky color. I'm gonna make mine red. And then I simply want you to keep the radius and make the steps 36. We are gonna to move to modify and we're gonna bring out a scale and we're gonna stretch this so that it looks like a stabilizer. I need you to type four, I need you to keep the one, and I need you to type 0 0.3 for the measurements. I'm going to move it so you can see it before we actually make it. I'm gonna tell you that the perfect Y for what we're gonna do is 80, and then we are gonna raise it up 18. When you hit play now, back in the back of your aircraft, you will have a horizontal stabilizer. That's another one of those words that you need to learn. Once again, we've got fuselage and we've got horizontal stabilizer. We are gonna make a vertical stabilizer by duplicating these again. Once again, pick a wicked cool color. I'm gonna go with yellow. This time I do want you to change the radius and it's gonna be three. Our X, because this one is skinny, will be one. Our Y will be 3.5 and our Z will be five. We need to change our movements. Instead of 80, we're gonna go 83. And instead of 18, we're gonna go 29. Friends, at this time, hit play and check it out. You have got an aircraft with a vertical stabilizer, a horizontal stabilizer, and a fuselage. Real quickly, if we look inside here, we want those cut off on the inside. So watch this, break it apart, put the group down below, and then bring it up. And this time when you hit play, the entire part creates itself, assembles, and that inside is hollow for the rest of our projects. Friends, that is it. You have just created the awesome jet airliner that we're gonna do the rest of our assignments with. I do need you to remember to hit export and you need to export it as a part. Make sure you name it. I'm gonna put airliner and I'm gonna put MDH. You can put the word jet for a tag. We do not wanna lock the part size because then we can adjust it. And then we need to save it so that we can use it in the rest of our Tinkercad projects. Alrighty friends, so if you enjoyed the project, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.